What is up, guys? Welcome back to Mudrunner, and today we are going to be taking a look at Nix's 62K10. Now, this thing is obviously running a slightly different axle setup than some of his other trucks that you guys have seen lately, mainly because it's running Rockwells with axle brakes, and you can just barely see them under the water there. And the reason why we've, spa we've spawned in the water is because we are out here on the West Virginia map, which some of the hardcore crawler guys will know this map, and other guys maybe not so much, but this truck also has four-wheel steering, which is going to play a big role in it, its capabilities out in the uh, out on the trails. And we're going to attempt some of the hardest trails on this map, and one of the hardest ones is actually this one right here in front. Well, not, not necessarily one of the hardest ones, but one of the most technically complicated ones is one of the ones that we are and is the one we're entering now. And we're going to go ahead and see what this K10 can actually do and what it's got behind it in terms of axles, power, and just all-out capability. Right off the bat, yeah, right off the bat, it's, it's almost like it's walking. It's honestly almost like it's just walking. Although, you do have to be deliberate with it to decide where you want to put the tires. The the actual spot that you that you choose is very very critical because if you get your line wrong, this thing will give up. The only thing is, it's not that it's giving up; it's that you didn't pick the right line. Now the four wheel steer does make it easier to kind of search around for grip, and once you do find it, it definitely it definitely goes. I mean, the grip is definitely there once you search around for it enough. Or, I mean, if you're like an ab absolute pro, you just pick the first lo the, the right line all the time and just walk right through it and don't get stuck anytime, really. Don't get stuck wherever you go. But then again, who's perfect? So we're going to go ahead and keep running down this trail now. And the thing about this map is that it's super densely, like, wooded. And there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of stuff to sort of distract your attention, like flying sticks, for example. But... The weird thing about this map is that it's actually, like, you can get into trouble really quickly out here. Like, really, really quickly out here. Also, just so you guys know, there is a link in the description to where you guys can actually check this truck out uh, on the Steam Workshop. It is a publicly available truck. All you got to do is click the link in the description box below where it is listed to actually subscribe to the mod and check it out in your own game. This is not a private mod, and I just want to go ahead and clear that up right from the get-go because a lot of people ask on the videos where I don't have links in the description they're like where's the link to the truck oh where's the link to the truck and a lot of the trucks that I drive I can't link out to because they are private mods however this one is a public mod and so there will be a link in the description below for this truck but which by the way I love the fact that Nix is one of the is one of the only people on the workshop right now doing these public builds that are super, super high quality. I mean, we're talking about, like, really, really genuinely high quality builds uh, that are publicly available. And I think that's amazing that he's doing that. But even if you go into, like, the tiny little details on this truck, like, look, you still have the skull and crossbones on the hubs. You have the detail of the little scrapes and scratches on the beadlock rings. I mean, the detail on even, like, the sidewall lugs on the tires. The detail is all there. The axle brake. I mean, you can even see the caliper has got some detail to it. It's all got detail to it. It really does. It just, you just have to look for the detail. And 99.9% .9 of the time, you will find it. So let's go ahead and continue on and see how this thing does throughout the remainder of this trail. So easing it down the hill now. Very, very light throttle. Very light throttle. We should run up on some should run up on some tricky areas soon. It gets a little bound up at times, though. It's kind of one of those it's kind of one of those rigs where you sort of find yourself in a bit of a you sort of find yourself in a bit of a bind sometimes. And when you do find yourself in a bit of a bind, you have the flexibility to get to work yourself out of it. You know what I mean? So you have the flexibility to work yourself out of said bind. It's just kind of one of those things where you have to be very careful about how you enter an obstacle because that's going to determine your line throughout the rest of the obstacle. Easing it, trying to figure our way around that rock because that distribution rock is really, really annoying. Oh. There we go. 
giving little blips of the throttle here and there are really effective at making this thing get grip and just working its way forward nice and slowly. Oh, back it up. Little sketchy right there. Little sketchy. This map really shows what this thing can do in a, you know, really densely wooded environment. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and we're going to head to another map, actually, because while this map is really, really cool... There's a map that you guys all know, and you guys all know that I love it, and you all know the reason why I love it, and that is the Scarab Desert. The Scarab Desert is a very, very cool map because of the fact that everything is available, everything is, is available in a widely viewable environment. Like, you can see super far, you can see the obstacles before you get to them, and honestly, you can see your trucks better, and... I know that that's kind of an odd thing to say that you want, but, like, honestly, I like to see my trucks. I like to be able to to really, like, hone in on what I'm looking at. And, by the way, the suspension dynamics of how he has this thing tuned are amazing. Like, watch the way the suspension works its way up and down, not only over rocks, but even over small bumps and small undulations in the terrain. It's a fun word to say undulations. Alright, let's see what we can do with this rock hill here. This is definitely a make or break for a lot of these trucks, but I also really like how these thi this thing has huge tires, and even though it's not the most flexy rig in the world, it really stuffs those huge tires. Let's see if we can go up along the edge. I don't know if we can or not, but it's definitely worth a try. Wind it through. Wind it through. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Really, bro? Already? 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 Bro, already? Bruh! Bruh! Already? Th th mm. That's annoying. That is properly annoying, that is. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to work a- work out a different plan. Because if we're attacking this from this angle, you know full well it's gonna be difficult, but... If there's any- Whoa! I- I was like, is there any way we could bump it? I doubt it. I'm gonna try again. Yep! Oh my god! Oh, we almost actually made it off of that one bump. Okay. Okay. I love the fact that this- hill is super close to the garage because you can rescue and then just go right back but like dude just bumping it like that in high actually almost got us up the hill if we had been oriented just a little bit differently and maybe a little closer to the left we would have made it potentially anyway oh that's a really good look though at the truck oh come on back yourself up come on uh, bruh now it doesn't want to actually now it doesn't want to actually back up over the same rock that it literally just drove up onto it's like, really, bro? Really? All right, low. Start walking her up. This is an odd angle to go from because it's not an angle I usually use, like, at all. Here we go. Walk your way back. There you go. I need... I need a, just a little bit of run-up in order to let me get it up into high. It... Ah! It's hard. It's hard right here. It worked! Oh! It worked, but it stalled out! Maybe that's not the right route for me. Or this truck, by, by uh, like, for that matter. I'm sure it can get up that way. It would just take a lot of planning. Okay, it can go this way, though. Come on. Come on. There we go. Mm, there we go. Yep. 
She's up. She's walking sideways, but she's up. Problem is, we're it's turning us around the wrong way. And that's kind of a result of... Well, it's a result of a few things. It's one, a result of the rear steer. And two, a result of us not planning our route out enough in advance. I think... Oh, I was going to say I think we can manage that. But right as I said that, right as I said that, it said no. And I, I want to be, like, be clear about how, like, how crushing that feels... When you're like, I'm going to do this, and immediately the vehicle's like, uh-uh, we are not doing that. Like, I don't know why you're thinking about it, but we are not doing it. Yeah, I just let it all the way down on that one, which is okay, because I kind of want to just try and walk it to the side. It, whoa! Oh! It's, you could start it, but... Ooh, use the four-wheel steer to save it. This has been a sketchy climb so far. A really sketchy climb. You know what? I'm gonna do something real sketchy, because I probably shouldn't have dropped it all the way back off of that. And I know the purists out there are going to say, Oh, he's taking the wrong line. He knows nothing about rock crawling, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, I'm trying to push this thing to its limits and see what it will actually do when I really try to put it in situations that are uncomfortable for it. Yep, there it is. Just needed that little bit of a bump. There she goes. Uh-oh. Nope, it's going over. Nope! Nope! No, oh, dude. All right. Well, I mean, it's a great truck. Don't let don't let my rollovers sway your opinion on this truck. It's a great truck, and I'll take full responsibility for the fact that I rolled it over back there. But like, oh my god, it's still great, and it's got an aspect of challenge to it. I mean, some of the trucks you'll see now are almost like you could drive them on autopilot in a sense, but this one. Not so much. This one, you definitely still have to pay attention. Much like a real-world rock crawler. Like, a real-world rock crawler, you have, you know, incredible vehicle capability, but you also still have to really be on alert and watch out for what you're doing. It's not just easy mode. I mean, in comparison to, like, a stock Jeep, sure, it's easy mode. But, like, in comparison to what you might think would be easy mode, it's not. And it really does make you work at it and really does provide a nice, realistic challenge, and I really, really do enjoy it. But if you guys enjoyed this look at this truck, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and I am walking all over the place, and I need to get this thing back straight again. But anyways, if you're new around here again, make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to click the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.